Algebra 1, 8.6a, this is systems of equations, and we're going to be doing sum of digits word problems. So all two-digit numbers can be written as 10x plus y, where the x is the digit in the tens place, and the y is the digit in the ones place. So the number 35 can be written as 10 times 3 for the tens place, plus 5 for the ones place. We get 35. And we can reverse this. The 35 can be flipped around to be 53. That way, when we do the equation, instead of 10x plus y, we now have 10y plus x. Because now, what was in the ones place, the 5 is going to be multiplied by 10 to be a 50, and we'll add the 3 that used to be in the tens place to be in the ones place, see? So we can flip 35 around to be 53 with this equation and this equation. We can use this relationship to solve a digit problem. So we could have 10x plus y as the original number and 10y plus x as the reversed flipped around number, okay? So there's two types of problems. There's one where the new number is more than the original number, and there's one where the new number is less than the original number. So we're going to do each, okay? So it says, the sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 14. Now what does that mean? Well, what it means is you have a two-digit number, like any one of these, 77, 86, 68, 59, 95, and when you add the tens place and the ones place, like 7 plus 7, it's going to equal 14, or 8 plus 6, or 6 plus 8, or 5 plus 9. It's going to equal 14, okay? So the sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 14. It's going to be one of those, right? And if the digits are reversed, the new number is 36 more than the original number. So if we reversed 86 to be 68, or 59 to be 95, the new number is going to be 36 more than the original number, and it says to find the original number. So we can let x be the tens digit and y be the ones digit. So we have two statements in this problem. The sum of the digits, the tens place and the ones place, is going to equal 14, and our new number is 36 more than the original number. Now when you have to solve one of these digit problems where it's an amount more, you want to solve for a negative version of it. So if it says 98 more, you want to solve for negative 98. If it's 36 more, we want to solve our equations for negative 36, see? So when it says more, think opposite. You're going to solve for a negative version of that amount that's more, okay? So the new number is 36 more than the original number. The original number is 10x plus y, and we're going to add 36 to it to get the new number. See that? So then our equation is going to be 10y plus x is equal to 36 plus 10x plus y. Now notice that the 10 is with the y and now the 10 is with the x on this side, okay? And notice where the plus and the equal signs are, all right? So we're taking the original 10x plus y and adding 36 to it to get the new number, okay? And we can simplify the second equation by solving for negative 36. So if it was 36 more, we're going to solve for negative 36. So we need to take this equation and make it so that it equals negative 36. So because it's a positive 36, we need to subtract it from each side to get a negative 36, don't we? So we can start with taking away the x, and we take away x from both sides. That turns this into a zero pair, doesn't it? And now we have 10y equals 36 plus 9x plus y. Now we can take the 36 away from both sides, and this creates a zero pair here and gets rid of the 36 from that side and makes it a negative on this side. And that's exactly what we wanted. We want to solve for negative 36. So by putting it on, subtracting it from each side, we were able to put it on this side as a negative, weren't we? Now we can get rid of that y from this side so that the negative 36 is by itself. So we'll take away 10y from this side and from this side, we end up with 9x minus 9y equals negative 36. And we could put the equal sign on this side with the negative 36, can't we, to make it look more normal? So the second equation is simplified and we solved it for negative 36. So remember, this is a rule, when the new number is more than the original number, you want to solve this equation 
for negative whatever the more was, okay? Since this was 36 more, we're trying to solve the second equation for negative 36, all right? So now we have our system of equations. We have x plus y equals 14 and 9x minus 9y equals negative 36. And if you've watched the last few videos for creating a zero pair, we can multiply all the terms in this equation by a 9. Then we'll have a positive 9y and a negative 9y in our second equation. And we get 9x plus 9y equals 14 times 9 is 126. And now this plus 9y and minus 9y can be eliminated, creates a zero pair. And we can solve for x. 9x and 9x is 18x. 126 take away 36 is 90. 18 times 5 is 90, so 18 goes into 90 five times. And we've got our friend the invisible 1, that's identity property, so we have 1x equals 5. So we know, since x is the tens place, that the tens place is a 5. So we already know that the next one's going to have to be a 9 because it equals 14, right? But we can continue this, and we can plug this 5 for x into the first equation, which was x plus y equals 14. And we can subtract 5 from each side. And 14 minus 5 is 9, so we know y equals 9. So the solution is x is 5, y is 9. So the original number is 10 times 5, which is 50, plus 9, that's 59. And when we do add 36 to it, it does equal 95. See that? So it worked. The biggest thing to remember is when you're doing the second equation, if you're going for more, you want to solve it for a negative of whatever that more is, okay? Now, when the new number is less, guess what? We're going to solve it for a positive of the less number, see? So when it's more, solve it for a negative version of that more number. When it's less, solve it for a positive version of that less number. So it's kind of opposite, all right? It's kind of hard to remember. You might want to write it down. So the sum of the digits of a two-digit number is 10. Well, that means a two-digit number like 82, when you add the 8 and the 2 together, it's going to be a 10 or a 28, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 7 and 3, 6 and 4, 4 and 6, 5 and 5. When you add the 10's digit to the 1's digit, it equals 10, see? So it's going to be one of these, right? Or it could be 1 and 9 and 91. It could be that, couldn't it? All right, so... We know that when we add the tens and the ones place together that it equals 10. So that's our first equation. Now we've got to find this reversed new number that's 36 less than the original number. So now we've got 10x plus y minus 36. Now because we're looking for less, I want to compare this equation to the equation for more. And I hope you can see this if I back up far enough, okay? We've got, for the less one, we've got 10x plus y minus 36. On this side, we had 10y plus x equals 36 plus 10x plus y. See that? If you can write this down as the more version of it, and you can write this down as the less version of it, you can use them when you do these problems to reflect back, to, back on, okay? So if you notice, this one has got 10y plus x and then an equal sign. This one's got 10x plus y and then a minus 36. This one's got the 10y plus x in the front on the left with the equal sign. This one's got it on the back on the right on the other side of the equal sign. This one's got 36 plus 10x plus y. This one's got a minus 36 from the 10x plus y. See how it's kind of flipped around? All right. So... We're going to try to solve for a positive 36 because it's 36 less. We're going to do the opposite of, of it, okay? So we're going to try to get a positive 36 to one side of the equation, okay? Like this. We want the 36 by itself positive on one side of the equation. So because it's a negative 36, the only way we can make it positive is by subtracting it from both sides. And that'll create a zero pair here. And because we're putting a plus 36 on each side, we now have a plus 36 on that side. Now we can get rid of the x and create a zero pair here. And 10x take away x is 9x. Now we've got 9x plus y equals 10y plus 36. We need to get this 36 by itself. So let's take away the 10y from each side. That creates a zero pair here. And a positive 1y take away 10y is a negative 9y. There we did it.
Now we've written the equation so it was solving for a positive 36 because the new number is 36 less, okay? Now we've got 9x minus 9y equals a positive 36. And we take our original equation, x plus y equals 10, and we know, because this is a minus 9y, if we multiply that original equation by 9, that's going to put a positive 9 on, on top of our negative 9, and we'll be able to create a zero pair here, won't we? So we get 9x plus 9y equals 90, okay? We put this equation right here underneath it, and we have our positive 9y and our negative 9y, and they create a zero pair, and we eliminate them. And now we've got 9x plus 9x equals 18x, and 90 plus 36 is 126. We divide both sides by 18. That creates our invisible 1 identity property. We have 1x equals 18 times 7 is 126, so 18 goes into 126 7 times. So we know x equals 7. Now what we have to do is take the x plus y equals 10 and plug in the 7 for x. We got 7 plus y equals 10. Take away 7 from each side and we see that y equals 3. So we know that y is 3 and x is 7. See? So that's our solution, 7 and 3. So our original number is 10 times 7 plus 3, so it's 73. And the new number is 36 less. So if we have 73 and we take away 36, we get 37. And look, it's the reversed order of 73. It's 37. See how that worked? Like I said, the biggest thing to remember is when the new number is more, you solve for a negative for whatever was more. And when the new number is less, you solve for a positive for whatever was less. Okay? That's the big rule there. All right. Our next video, 8.6b, is still going to be systems of equations, and we're going to be doing word problems with coins. And of course, like always in this playlist, if you want to go back to any of the previous videos, there'll be links in this description for it, okay? So coin problems are like, how many nickels and how many dimes do you have if you have this amount of money, all right? And I'll show you how to solve those with a system of equations. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you're doing all right. I'll see you. Bye.